Well, our next story today, we move on to talk about Starmer versus Sunak here in the UK. The leading political figure in several opinion polls in the UK, Labour leader Keir Starmer, has vowed not to attack the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak over his children's private education. But uh, we echoed his calls of Sunak being out of touch to understand the financial issues here in the UK. When asked about the scale of Sunak's wealth, Starmer said he doesn't criticise Sunak for his wealth or where he sends his children for education. But he did add, sometimes people need a leader who understands the pain of the common public and what it feels like not to be able to pay the bills on time. Sunak's personal wealth has been a constant problem for him on the taxation front, as opposition leaders have never missed an opportunity to target the leader. Now, Sunak and his family own several private properties. Sunak's constituency home will gain some uh, eyeballs after its newly built heated swimming pool was connected to the national grid. Earlier, Sunak had to bear with a political storm after his wife, the daughter of Infosys founder Narayan Murthy, saved millions of dollars on her UK tax bill by claiming non-DOM status. Well, this is when Sunak was serving as the UK Chancellor. Sunak and his wife, Akshat and Murthy, have a combined net worth of around £520 million. A large part of it is due to shares owned by Akshat and Murthy in her father's multinational tech company. For more, our London correspondent Alex Isaac is joining us live from London. Good to see you, Alex. So, is this much of a problem with the British population that Rishi Sunak's children do go to private schools? Well, honestly, this feels like a redundant argument that has been going around in circles. Uh, Keir Starmer wants people to remember that he, although he is rich now, he came from a low income background. He keeps pushing that out. And as we get further and further towards a general election, he is going to keep re repeating this sentiment that even though he is now worth over uh, £8 million, he still came from a low income family. So only he can understand how the people within the UK are feeling. Now, this is a constant rhetoric we're hearing about Rishi Sunak, uh, the Prime Minister, being extremely wealthy, and he doesn't quite get it. He has private health care. He doesn't really care about the NHS. All of these things keep coming out. But, you know, Rishi Sunak has been Prime Minister, well, for not so long, and he is, well, as we can see, trying to put his five promises into play. But this does seem like an argument that is falling by the wayside. There are a lot of problems. You know, your first story there we heard about you know the cost of living crisis we're going to understand that prices uh, of everything are continuing to rise inflation is not coming down these are the issues that are bothering the UK public not whether the two leaders of both parties are incredibly rich and whether they can really truly understand people just want to see a change they want to see a difference being made and you know we're hearing today as well you know Thames Water may be bailed out by millions of pounds of taxpayers money another private company Company that may well be needed here in the UK, but ultimately it's the taxpayers that are having to pay out. Inflation is continuing to rise and the cost of living crisis is affecting every single person. And uh, this kind of constant back and forth with, is he rich? I might have been rich, but I wasn't originally. This isn't something that I don't think that the UK public is really going to be hanging their hat on when it comes to voting. It will be exactly what is Rishi Sunak doing right now and how is he making sure that it's going to be a stable lifestyle for everybody? The NHS has go uh, voted again to go on strike. There are huge, huge damning problems here um, with regards to the actual politics of the country, not just the individual person who is in charge of the party. Alex Isaac, our London correspondent, thank you.